Comrade, your vodka, it's bubbling. They call it a white coke in Russian because it's colorless. White coke is a nickname for a clear variant of Coca-Cola produced in the 1940s at the request of Marshal of the Soviet Union, Georgi Zhukov. Like other clear colas, it was the same original flavor and was virtually unchanged except for the absence of caramel coloring. To begin, let's start with a brief history lesson. Georgi Zhukov was a Soviet general and marshal of the Soviet Union, and was introduced to Coca-Cola during or shortly after World War II by his counterpart in Western Europe, Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in Western Europe, Dwight D. Eisenhower, who was also a very big fan of the drink. Coca-Cola was regarded in the Soviet Union as a symbol of American imperialism, so Georgie didn't want to be photographed or be reported to the Soviet media for consuming such an American capitalistic product. According to journalist Tom Standage, the general later asked whether Coca-Cola could be manufactured and packaged to resemble vodka. The general reportedly made this inquiry through the commander of the US sector of Allied Occupied Austria who passed the request on to President Harry S. Truman. The president's staff contacted James Farley, chairman of the board of the Coca-Cola Export Corporation. At the time, Farley was overseeing the establishment of 38 Coca-Cola plants in Southeast Europe, including Austria. Farley then delegated Jugov's special order to a technical supervisor for the Coca-Cola company, who had been sent to Austria in 1946 to supervise the establishment of a large bottling plant. The technical supervisor found a chemist who could actually remove the colouring from Coca-Cola, and from now on the colourless version of Coca-Cola was bottled using straight clear glass bottles, sporting a white cap with a red star in the middle. It doesn't resemble a regular Coke that you're used to seeing in the shops. The bottle and the cap were produced by the Crown Cork and Seal Company in Brussels. The first shipment of white Coke consisted of 50 cases. An unusual consequence for the Coca-Cola company was actually having a relaxation of the regulations that were imposed by the occupying powers in Austria at the time. Coca-Cola supplies and products were required to transit a Soviet occupation zone while being transported between the Lambach bottling plant and the Vienna warehouse. While all goods entering the Soviet zone normally took weeks to be cleared by authorities, Coca-Cola shipments were never ever stopped. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe.